Well, I mean, to be facetious, I sometimes have said, uh, I'm, uh, see, I'm interested in lost causes, Yiddish and psychoanalysis. <laughs> well, of course they intersect, because in Freud's original group, all of them, I think the first 18, or maybe it was 13, they or their parents from, were from Galicia. And one of, the, you know, one of the foundational texts in psychoanalysis is the joke book. And the jokes are Yiddish jokes, right? So that was very important to Freud on the one hand. On the other hand, he denied that he knew Yiddish, even though his mother only spoke Yiddish and he went to visit her every Sunday morning. So that's a whole other story. And I've written a paper about this, about Freud's Jewish identity and Freud's need not to believe. And my thesis is, is the reason that he denied that he had this, at, well, that he was, you know, that he had this attitude to a Jewish ritual and Jewish language essentially was because of shame. He was in Vienna. He wanted to make it in Viennese society, and he was embarrassed about the scruffy Galician Jews who had come from Vienna. I found an article in Haaretz written by someone named Grinberg in the 30s, no, maybe it was 42, who said that, you know, in, in, in 30 years earlier, he had come to Vienna and presented a paper about Yochanan the prophet. So Yochanan was this, uh, you know, orthodox Jew with a kaftan and so forth, and he gave this paper, and Freud said, I'd rather be the Jew in the tuxedo than the Jew in the kaftan. And Grimberg says, see how far from his heritage Freud has wandered. So the whole question of you know, Yiddish, I mean, psychoanalysis and Yiddish, you, you cannot escape it.